In this episode of Roma Custom Bike, we're gonna try to get this little fellow from the tricycle all the way to the big boy bike. Can I have a high five? Little Dylan over here has reached the age where I really want to take him with me on the bike. And to do so, I've, uh, I want to create an harness so that it can be securely tied to my body. And I want to do a couple of pegs uh, so that he can sit comfortably on the bike. Useless to say that everything we do on Roma Custom Bike is highly illegal and should be done only in private areas. That's right. <laughs> Let's take a ride. You want to take a ride? Yes. High five, buddy. That's right. So, I want the kid to be in front of me so he can be kind of caged by my body. Dylan, can you go forward a little bit? All right. So, as you can see, I wanted to put the boots just like that. So, his feet are gonna be approximately here. It's gonna burn. And uh, yeah, it's gonna burn. So, we're gonna create an heat shield to go on the muffler. And I've designed this uh, peg holder that obviously you can use for any other reason uh, on your bike that is gonna go under the carburetor and uh, when in use, it's gonna swing out like this and it's gonna offer a peg for the kit. I started by creating the design and if you would like to know more about this type of process, I suggest you watch the two episodes I did by clicking the videos you see over there. Anyway, what I did is try to follow the curve of the carburetor's filters housing. The decorations I use are the lines and holes patterns that define the style for this bike. Once done with the design, I prepared the toolpath for the CNC machine. And now it's working the part. My CNC machine is a slightly modified Step 4 brand Basic 540. And you can look at the link right there. What I can manage to do with it is uh, run it at 160 millimeters per minute at a depth of 0.3 millimeters per passage with a 3 millimeter diameter end mill. To machine this part, it took me just about an hour. I rinse it to remove all the chips of aluminum and we can bring the piece to the shop for the finishing touches. Machining with the CNC, especially one that is as slow as mine, gives a pretty rough product, so I need to refine the finish starting with a bit of elbow grease and an abrasive sponge. Be careful though not to remove too much material from the borders and the corners because the piece might get messed up very easily. I use my table grinder to finish up but only on the back side that nobody is ever gonna see. <laughs> the key to a good result is never to stay still on a single point and check results at every pass. It's now time to polish the piece. I recently bought a polishing kit from the guys at LuxMetal.com and I figured to give it a try and see how it works. 
They also sell this bench mount to use with a regular drill. And although I have a bench polisher, this seems pretty practical and the wheel change seems pretty fast. So I'll give it a try. This kit comes with three wheels and three corresponding polishing compounds. One set for the rough pass, the second for a medium polish and the third for the mirror shine. Behind the package there are all the info on how to use them. Once the drill is in position, I start with the first wheel, labeled letter A, and load it with the corresponding compound. Since it's a new wheel, some of the stitched rope comes apart, but it should settle in a few spins. Useless to say that eye protection during this process is imperative. As you can see, the wheel immediately starts to get dark, sign that it's removing material. Make sure you don't remove too much, especially with this high cutting wheel compound combo. Every once in a while I have to reload the wheel with the compound and eventually it will need to be cleaned with a proper brush that I don't have at the moment. Even at this speed you can see little pieces of rope flying off the wheel, so remember to wear glasses. Once satisfied with the results obtained with the first wheel, I set up the second one, marked with the letter B, and load the B compound. After a few seconds of working the piece with this wheel, you can already see the shine coming through. Very, very promising. Don't forget to pay enough attention to the sides too. These are the details that give the piece that extra sparkle. You're watching the process sped up by about 10 times, but it took about 5 minutes per wheel to complete. The last wheel is the final polished, marked with the letter C with this super fine compound. It's an unstitched cloth disc, very soft and flexible so you can reach deep into the recesses and give a mirror finish. You can already see how the hands reflect on the part. I have to say the results are excellent. I probably should have spent a little more time with the sanding sponge before polishing. But you know what they say, a project will come out as good as much time you're willing to put into it. And that was it for me on this one. <laughs> Now let me take a second to remind you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done that and click the like button if you actually like what you're seeing because that's how I support the show. Thank you very much and let's get back to the project. Uh, what's a light button? During the design phase I figured I would use 6mm diameter screws but at the later time I decided to go for 8mm ones. So I need to enlarge the holes using my drill press. I wish I had done this before polishing. Uh. <laughs> it's now time to see the piece on the bike. And I'm hoping I'm on the right track. So, we finished. Our support is gonna pivot onto a hole in the air filter support. And uh, now we have to proceed with making the actual peg. I have to confess that this time I got lazy and decided to make the passing hole directly on the bike without taking the air filter support off the bike. But I do suggest that you be a little bit more proactive and do it. Now that the hole is done, I can mount the support using a butterfly bolt so that the peg can be moved on the fly without requiring any tools. Just loosen the butterfly and move the peg back and forth. Now I have to make the actual foot peg. I don't want it to be so noticeable, so I decided to use a simple piece of chrome tubing I stole from a broken mic stand from my studio. Once cut, I file it down to the final dimension and slide it onto an 8mm threaded bar that I cut to side, keeping in mind all the bolts and washer that I will be using in the final product. All 
I need to do now is a quick assemble of all the parts and I have to go buy a nice brass bolt to replace the one you see now. And there you go! The final prototype is ready to be tried out. I figured to carve out a pocket on the back of the support to block the screw head from spinning. I did it by hand so it came out pretty crappy, but it works and that's all that matters for now. After a quick install I have to say that it came out pretty cool, discreet and hopefully functional. But before I can call the little D-Dog so that he can try it out, I want to show you a little trick I use to paint small parts where using powder coating would just be overkill. Nail polish is a fantastic paint, especially for this type of situation when it's applied inside holes and grooves where it's mechanically protected from scratching. To apply it to the part I like to use a toothpick or a syringe for larger projects. The cool part is, beside the fact that it's somewhat self-leveling, is that if you make a mistake, all you need to fix it is a piece of cotton and some nail polish remover. So quick! And here it is, painted in a little less than 10 minutes. I used the blue electric tape to center the rod to the tube and to help with vibration. Now that the foot peg is done, I need to build a heat shield for the exhaust to avoid melting the heel of D-Dog's shoes every time he rides. But we'll do that in the next episode. And here is a sneak preview for you. Ah 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 ah! It's just a preview! For now, I want to invite you to press the like button, leave a comment, and if you really really like the episode, why not? Tell your friends. I'm Custom Chess and I'll see you in the next episode of Roma Custom Bike.